Alrighty, my name is Siemens Rita, and you're watching another Hyperdrive Pictures VFX tutorial. And this week's tutorial is based off of the effect we did in the Paranormal Vlogtivity video a couple months back. So I'm actually just going to show you that effect really quick. My friend Wes is sitting here, he's trying to do his uh, vlog. And if you look up right here, you see this super scary ghost blob type thing rush over and drag him to the ground. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that effect. And it's based off of the latest Paranormal Activity movie where something similar happens. A girl's talking to her webcam and a ghost just flies right by her, which we did earlier on in the video. Right here. Just boom. What was that? So I'm going to show you how to make it and then you'll know for yourself. I'm also going to show you how to use the same technique to do something cool and just with a couple tweaks and after effects you can make your ghost look like this bright blob instead of this dark blob. So it's actually quite simple. So we're going to get started. I've done this a couple times already. I'm going to drag our raw footage into another composition. Fit. There we go. And we're just going to get right down to it. First thing you're going to do is make a new solid and we're going to call this ghost. And we're going to use Fractal Noise as the base for our effect. And Fractal Noise is an extremely powerful plugin. And we're going to actually just use one of the presets. We're going to use Deep Tissue. Going to select the ghost layer, hit U, and get rid of all these keyframes because we don't want that animation. The only animation we want is this evolution. So we're going to set up an expression. We're going to Alt click it. Type time times 100. That's Shift 8 to get to that star key. What we end up with is, is a self-animating, cool-looking web, which we're going to use. Going to get rid of that. Make a new layer, just going to call it black. Put it underneath the ghost layer. And we're going to select Luma Mat. So what that's going to do is it's going to take all the bright parts of this and replace it with the layer underneath. And right now, since that layer is just black, we're going to basically take that web and make it black. Next thing we're going to do is make just kind of a blob shape. And let's, uh, let's do this. And of course, it made a shape layer, which I've never wanted to use in my life. So, and it did it again. What is up with After Effects? Double check that you have your ghost layer selected, then start drawing your shape. And instead of just making a circle tool, we're going to kind of try and make one ourselves, but, you know, skew the edges, make it look weird, because, like I said, this is an amorphous shape that we're creating here. And let's, uh, let's bring this in a little too close to the edge. And there we go. A very imperfect circle is what we're after. Hit MM, feather the edge about 35 pixels. So that way it's a little harder to see. Now we're going to add a couple more things because if you looked closely in the video the whole shape just kind of moved on its own and warped around. And the way we did that is with turbulent displacement. So we're going to go go to distort turbulent displace and we're going to let's see bring the size down to 75 We're going to animate the evolution, so same thing, alt-click time times 100. And what that leaves us with is a shapeless shifting blob. And its edges move around and it moves around. And uh, let's actually, let's move the size back to 100 and the, the amount up. So that way we get even more. So you can see even though the mask is here, the edges are moving as well. So that just gives it its own life. And when you combine that with the evolution and the fractal noise, um, you get a very shapeless, constantly shifting effect. So what we're going to do here is added another effect to make this look a little cooler. And if you look closely in the finished video for Paranormal Blocktivity, there's a distortion behind the ghost layer as well. And the way we did that is with an adjustment layer that had another turbulent displacement on it. So we're going to do time times 100 on evolution again. 
and we're going to make the amount 60, but the size 75. And right now it's affecting everything, so we're going to move it underneath the ghost and the black layers, and it's still affecting the entire background. We only want it to affect where the ghost is, so we're going to make another copy of the ghost layer, put it right above the adjustment layer, and select Luma Mat on the adjustment layer. So now the distortion is only happening behind our ghosts. So if I toggle this on and off, and you look at some of these lines in the wall, you can see that there's some cool distortion going on back there, kind of warping the light like a weird lens. Now, I'm going to parent this ghost layer to the first ghost layer, so that way everything is all linked up to here. And I'm going to go in, select both of them, click Opacity, and I'm just going to fade this ghost in like I did in the video. And then zero right there, so it just appears. Now let's animate this thing. So I'm going to hit P, and since this is linked, it's going to move with it. I'm also going to hit Shift S, so I'm going to scale this down and move it to over here. And you know what? That looks a little too distinct. I'm going to add a quick, fast blur. So that way it's a little harder to see. Let's do four pixels. Twenty-two pixels. Small difference. Okay. So we've got our ghost looking layer right there. And let's hit. It's going to fade in after about a half a second. It's going to shift over towards the left side of the room. It's going to hold there for a little bit. Then at this point, it's going to fly right by the camera. So we're going to just scale it way back up and move the position over. And when it's this close, you can kind of see that adjustment layer at work in the background. Let's move these keyframes a little bit closer so it just really shoots out of there. And then let's add an easy ease on everything to make it a little bit smoother. So we've got our ghost, then it just flies by the camera. Let's move it another frame in. There we go. Now to get this effect to look really good, you need to have your motion blur turned on. So we're going to do that right now. Motion blur for that layer and for that layer. So now, when it flies by, it's going to be very hard to see the shape, but it's just going to look like that quick blur you saw in Paranormal Activity 4, which was, in all honesty, not a great movie, but uh, very spoofable, as they're doing with, what, Scary House and Scary Movie 5? There's two movies coming out spoofing that right now. Anyways, so you can see it's got that really cool blur going on, and that's basically the effect. So let me show you how to do a different version of it by only tweaking a few settings, and that's going to be by going in and getting rid of this layer. So we're going to go in and basically just delete it, turn the ghost layer back on, and what we're left with is instead of a black blob, we have a white blob. But it's going to look way too solid and it won't quite match up the example I showed you before, but it's actually really easy to fix. And let's turn off the adjustment layer just for processing sake. And motion blur. Okay, so there is the effect, which looks really horrible uh, when you turn off all those extra adjustments, but that's what we're working with. And, you know, normally I would say, okay, I want a white blob, let me just uh, get rid of the dark parts in the middle by hitting screen. But even still, that still looks laughable. But if I go down to Color Dodge, which is one underneath screen, we get this really cool spectral, bright, shiny shape going on. And it's harder to see the edges. And it's actually pretty cool looking. So if you just go in and make those changes and then click Color Dodge, you get this. And then you, know, you can turn your adjustment layer back on. And once you turn the motion blur back on, then you get some cool stuff. So if you wanted to make a different version of that ghost, that's how you do it using just a quick couple of changes. And once this thing loads, maybe if I do 
quarter res because I really want you to see what it looks like. Uh, it'll look cool. Now the last thing I'm going to do is add a wiggle expression so that way, yeah, look at that. So it's kind of like this faint thing where if you were walking in a room and you saw that fly by, you'd say, did I see that? Was that there? I don't know. Maybe my mind's playing tricks on me. Uh, we're going to add a quick wiggle expression so that way we can you know, give this ghost a little bit more life so it's not just staying in point A and then point B and then going to point C but kind of floating around as it goes along and it's really easy to add. We're going to alt click position, type wiggle, parentheses 2 comma 65, close parentheses. And what's going to happen is if you look you see that the shape is just kind of moving around there and you know what? maybe a little bit more turbulent displacement would make it look better um, yeah and maybe if we sped up the evolution so that way it's just really shifting around right there but yeah that's how you do it and let's see what else um, if you wanted to make this glow depending on what kind of effect you want to do just duplicate the layer, it's really simple. And then in your fast blur, just blur it out some more. And you get an interesting looking glow. So, that's the effect, I hope you found it useful. It's got a nice airy quality to it. We release new videos every Wednesday on Hyperdrive Pictures, either VFX or usually. Um, narrative comedy videos based off of video games, movies, you name it. Uh, youtube.com slash hyperdrivepix if you really like the uh, videos or this tutorial please consider subscribing it helps us out you've got links to our twitter and facebook where you can follow us there keep up to date on everything we do and like i said we usually do these narrative types of videos this is a spoof the slender game which is extremely scary this is a spoof about every about pretty much every cop drama in the world and of course this tutorial is based off paranormal activity which is a spoof of the paranormal activity movies of course so Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you guys again next week. Thanks for watching.